Do you ever wonder why we're here? What's up everybody, welcome to This Week in Halo, the Halo video that catches you up with absolutely everything that has happened the past 7 days. In this week's video, 343 themselves have asked for feedback to numerous changes on Halo Infinite, they've also tried to fix cheating, they made one change that had absolutely zero effect, there are some beautiful forge maps made by the community, as well as what's next for Halo Infinite. So let's not waste any time, let's jump into the video. So today we're starting with what's next for Halo Infinite. When 343 started 2024, they did a live stream outlining everything that is coming to Halo Infinite in the not too distant future. It is now halfway through April and almost everything 343 has said is coming has now come out. We've had the Spirit of Fire event, we've had the Cyber Showdown 3 event, and now, as I speak, we're having the Yappening 2 event. There has been a lot of discussion as to what is coming out next for the game, what should we expect, is there going to be a massive update, and when is 343 going to share new information? As for when, we have no idea, but I wouldn't assume it's going to be too long. We don't know what's going to happen after the Yappening 2 ends in a couple weeks, which means you would assume there'll be a live stream in the next two weeks to outline what's happening next with the game. As for a major update coming to the game, we have the Match Composer, the massive UI update that is going to give you the power to control exactly what you play. It is so much better than the playlist list we have at the moment, and it very well may be the final huge update Halo Infinite ever gets. What I am very curious to see is one of two things. One, are we getting any new weapons or vehicles? And two, is 343 going to listen to our feedback on the monetization side of the game? In terms of maps, we've got a lot of community-made content this year already, but Barthrow Spartan on Twitter said yesterday he thinks there may be two more developer-made maps on the way. One is called Beltway, which from the leaks people said is a remake of Elongation, and one developer-made BTB map. People are speculating the map is called Rockridge, it showed the map is 99% complete, and that was over a year ago. You guys also brought this up, and I didn't even know this was happening, but 343 is introducing a system, so vaulted items from past events you can't get anymore are going to be earnable again. If someone wants to clarify in the comments, are you going to have to pay for this, or can you just unlock them by playing? We also have the Alien and Flood Forge palettes, which will also be coming in the future. So I would expect within the month, 343 is going to outline what is next with Halo. Infinite. Now 343 and specifically Unishek has asked for feedback on the latest update on Halo Infinite. What he asked is what do you guys think of the sandbox changes we've made? What do you think of the stalker rifle? What do you think of the gravity hammer? Image on screen here. So here is my quick feedback for 343. The commando update is really good. It's a much more viable weapon and it's so great to see the commando is usable again. The plasma pistol is not usable. Not only is the overcharge shot really bad, but the single fire rapid fire shot is now weaker, which means the weapon is unusable on the whole. The remaining four weapons, which are the gravity hammer, the stalker rifle, and both variants of the bandit are still all very viable. The gravity hammer is very strong. The stalker rifle can still fire six shots before it overheats, which means you can quickly kill two people with the weapon. All the bandit saw was a 10% faster reload time. On the whole, the changes are really good. However, the plasma pistol really needs a fix. As a very very quick side note, the disruptor, which never worked for me on high ping with the old networking model, now works really well. It is finally consistent after over two years. If 343 ever balances the weapons again, I truly believe the damage over time for the disruptor should return now, as the damage is affecting Spartans correctly. Now speaking of the new networking model, cheating. And 343 implemented one change to try and stop the cheating on Halo Infinite, it didn't work. It actually made it quite worse. So what 343 did is if you're going into the ranked based playlist now, you have to play 50 matches in social before you can play ranked. Previously, you have to play 25 unranked social games before you could jump into ranked. All this means now is the cheaters are in the unranked social mode so much more, and then they go to ranked once they've completed the 50 games. They are even targeting me, as people have tagged me on Twitter saying, Remy, we know you can fly around and snipe people, but this looks very different, which I'll admit gave me a good laugh but the cheaters are still running rampant on the game, and I hope 343 fixes it. On a more positive note, the forges on Halo Infinite are absolutely amazing, and Chainfall by Mags and Ethan Hibbs feels like it's straight out of Doom. I love the teleporters, I love the aesthetic, it looks like it's straight out of hell. The sandbox on the map is done by I Crush All. It seems like every single week I show another map off by the community, and it's amazing. It really is. It makes me happy that even if 343 don't 
don't put out content for this game, you know the community is going to do it. If you want to play Chainfall on Halo Infinite, the link to the map on Halo Waypoint will be in the description below. And that's it everybody, that is this week in Halo. From cheaters flying around across the map, to 343 asking for feedback, to a beautiful new Forge map by the community. I would not be surprised in the not too distant future if we find out from 343 what the future of this game is, but it's safe to say Halo Infinite at this point is nearing the end of its life cycle. We may even get a teaser for what comes next in June. So thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.